So today I'm back with a Q&A video. I don't think I've ever done a Q&A video. And I asked on Instagram and Twitter if you had any questions and a few came in so I thought I would film that video today. And yes, I do have my antlers on again. Or my reindeer, but you can't see them. And my Christmas PJs, because it's a day of filming. So I was like, I'm gonna be comfy in my Christmas PJs. I'm gonna get straight into the questions. If you don't already follow me on Instagram and Twitter, go ahead and do so. If you wanna ask me any questions, next time I have a Q&A around. Question number one comes from Instagram and it's from Quiva Houston. How long have you been interested in makeup? I remember back in school wanting to be a makeup artist and my teacher told my mom to talk me out of doing makeup and to go and do a degree. So I did, but that was probably when I was 17 or 18 I started to, to be really interested in makeup, although I couldn't do it at all. And then when I moved to Germany when I was 22, I found YouTube and I fell in love with makeup. So since probably then when I was, when YouTube was just starting out. How old are you? This comes from Lauren Mar Marples. Lauren Marples. How old are you and what make, motivates you to continue YouTubing? YouTubing. So I am 26 years old and I get motivated from nice comments and just for the love and the passion of doing it. I actually, it's just a hobby for me. I love sitting down and filming a video and I love the excited feeling I get when I'm uploading and when that video first goes live. So that's what motivates me is just helping other people as well. Next question comes from Laura Z I don't know how to say that name, it will be up on the screen. Would you consider doing one-to-one -one makeup lessons? Yeah, definitely I would. I already do that. If anyone's interested in a one-to-one -one makeup lesson, you can email me. I love teaching people about makeup and how to do makeup. Although I'm not like the best makeup artist out there, I do love to do what I do. Next one is from Cal Karen Waldron 98 How did you decide what videos to put on your channel? When I first started, I just thought, right, I'll just do makeup tutorials, like that's what I like watching, that's what I'm good at. And then the more I started to do it, the more I was like, I'm, this is my channel, I'll do whatever I want. So I kind of do it a bit more lifestyle and then kind of more serious topics, which I think people like to see as well. And I just hopefully like one day I'll do like weekly vlogs on like I have a family and stuff because I absolutely love watching those videos. Next one comes from Sinead N98 and she asks, what makeup brushes do you use? I love Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I love Sigma. And I also have a few MAC brushes and what is that new one? I just got sent some face up to it cosmetics and that them brushes are really good as well, so. Oh, I also love Crown Brush, they're amazing. Next question is what she does now and she asks, how did you find the confidence to create a YouTube channel? I actually had no confidence when I started doing it. It was so alien to me and I was so nervous. And I have like the first clip I ever filmed. I found it on my hard drive and like it's ridiculous. Like I'm so cringy in it and I don't know what to say. But like the more you do it, the more confidence you get. And I do say to anyone that wants to start YouTube, like it's going to be so hard to sit down at the beginning and start talking to yourself but you just kind of get used to it and then you just your personality starts to come through like I'm still not myself on camera but like little by little I'm just getting there it just takes practice like nobody's good at something when they first start it just takes practice and to build your confidence and then it's a really good confidence booster because now I can go and do public speaking I can talk to strangers I can like just talk to people it just is a way of talking to people Next question is from Stephanie McDonald 22. Love your videos, Grace. Great seeing a girl from Tala doing well from herself. My question is, what is your all-time favorite foundation? I was actually asked that a couple of times. My all-time favorite would be the Inglot YSM foundation. I absolutely love that and it's an amazing, not cheap foundation, but it's a really affordable foundation for what it is. And I also love the Chanel Vitalumier Aqua, which I'm wearing today and I absolutely adore, but that's just a bit more pricier. But I always recommend the Inglot YSM for anyone who's looking for a good foundation. Next one is from Simone and, and her question is, any possible meetups? anytime soon yes definitely i would love to do a meetup but like i actually don't think anyone would come so i would probably do a meetup with like other irish youtubers so then i'm not just left standing there on my own but like one day hopefully when i'm bigger i will definitely do a meetup and i would love to i love when people stop me like someone just stopped me in the pub the other night and was like oh my god i love your videos and like stuff like that i love i love when people say it to me so if you ever see me around just say hi next question is from kathleen and uh, she asks What's your favorite drugstore brand and high-end brand? My favorite drugstore brand would be Sleek. I love Sleek, it's really good. I love, what else do I love? 
from the drugstore. I love kind of everything, like a bit of everything, like Rimmel and Maybelline and just all those ones, like all the counter brands. But I think Sleek is the best for drugstore. My favourite high end would be MAC or Ingla or Urban Decay. There's a few. So MAC is definitely up there. Like that's my favourite. And then I just love Ingla as well. I think Ingla and MAC go hand in hand together. They're just amazing. And then Urban Decay have the best eyeshadows out there. Next one is from Lara Murphy one and she said, what type of work did you do with Sosumi? Everyone always asks like, what do you do with Sosumi? So I kind of did a bit of PA work with Suzanne and helped organize some of her events. I organized the Limerick event or the Limerick workshop and then I kind of just kept on top of emails and like we did a photo shoot one day and stuff like that. This next question is from Emily Ryan 1531 and she asks, are you planning on moving out of your mom's house soon. Yes, I am and it's going to be a very sad day. Me and Chris do plan on moving out this year together and we're really excited about that, but it's also going to be really sad leaving my mom all by herself. Next one is from, I can't pronounce your name, Alaya Zach. I hate saying these names because I just get them wrong. If you could create your own beauty product, what would it be and why? I think I would create, I'd love to create like loads of different things, but I think like foundation or eyeshadow would be the main one for me because I always think that you really need a good quality foundation and a good quality eyeshadow like they're your main things and that's what I'd like to do but hopefully someday I can create like a whole range of it. Next question is from Samantha O'Flanagan and she says what has been your top beauty products of 2014 and a little kiss face. Um, my top beauty products, I am going to do a video on that and I'll leave it linked below, but I will give you my top um, moisturiser for 2014, it would have to be the Kinvara and I just purchased it last night online and I'm so excited for that to arrive, that was an amazing find for this year, that was a, that was a present from Sosumi and I absolutely love it. Next question is from Mimi Connellan and she asks, name something you really love but hate to or never buy yourself. Um, I don't really know like that's a straight that's a weird question I love perfume but I never buy it for myself and I love like charms like I got the Alex and Annie bracelets and like I'd love to buy them for myself or a Pandora charm but like you don't like you just wait and get them as presents next question is from Jen Smurphy and she says what are your diet tips you are looking fantastic and of course such a stunning girl inside and out thanks Jen we actually went to school together my diet tips would be to avoid sugar like sugar is the biggest thing that's gonna make you put on weight and it's such a oh uh, it's just like the one thing that makes you put on weight and it's so hard to stay away from sugar it's in absolutely everything we eat and like people who produce food put it into everything to make it taste good but it then just makes you fat so yeah, diet tips would be always to watch what you're eating because you're not going to lose any weight if you continue eating what you're eating. Last question is from Suzanne Steele and she asked what your favourite foundation was and I already answered that. So that is it for all my questions and answers. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions you want me to answer in the next video, leave that in a comment below and go follow me on Instagram and I will be putting a picture up there where you can ask the questions. I hope you liked that video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you all soon. 